Hi guys, it's Laura here. Today we're gonna share what I have in my Imperfect Foods box because I decided to order first time Imperfect Foods. We got it here. And it came last night actually. Um, <clears throat> if you never heard of Imperfect Foods before, this is, these are groceries that help you fight food waste. Hopefully I'm doing that. Uh, the company is committed to zero carbon emissions by 2030 is sustainably sourced affordable and conveniently delivered to your door i hope so and it's on a mission to reduce food waste some groceries have cosmetic quirks irregular sizes or are just surplus uh, which means they are used to go to waste or get undervalued so shopping is very simple you sign up and you have to take a quick quiz they assign you a shopping window and delivery day. My shopping window starts on Monday and ends on Tuesday, which is very convenient. You kind of have like, I think 24, 25 hours to shop. Uh, think what you want to fill your cart with, remove whatever you don't want. And based on your preferences and what's in season, so seasonal items, which I appreciate because it's really hard to uh, find those unless you go to the uh, farmer's market in the summertime um, otherwise it's really hard to find those and they deliver on the same day to re re uh, same day of the week to reduce emissions and um, it's free to sign up there are no subscriptions or service fees ever and you have to pay a delivery fee unless you shop over sixty dollars uh, $60, i believe um i couldn't find it anywhere online but i remember when i shopped it says if your order is over 60 it's delivered free you don't have to tip or anything my delivery i live in a building was just left in the lobby so nothing like that i do have a code for 20 uh, dollar off uh, if you're interested to join i'm gonna link it down below and let's dig in and I'm gonna share with you what I got and thoughts, I guess. Uh, I noticed that my box had kind of like gentle, uh, how should I say this, um, fragile. So it says on the box fragile, which I appreciate because I had these fragile items in the box. Uh, siete grain-free taco shells. I am craving tacos recently. And um, yeah, I wanted to try the grain free ones from Siete. And I noticed they have it in Whole Foods Market. Um, that's where I'll probably will go for and shop for it. Um, they were on sale. They were on sale in Whole Foods Market also, but I noticed that on the Imperfect Foods website, it was cheaper. Uh, yeah, you can compare prices and decide what you wanna buy and what you don't wanna buy. So I went for two boxes of this and I paid 9.58 for both boxes then we have cilantro and i like to buy my greens organic and this is organic cilantro uh the price was very very affordable actually 129 which is cheaper than i can find it in my stores around me i usually find it at mariano's or whole foods and it's definitely cheaper on imperfect foods i think usually it's over 150 so this was 129 and I really like that it wasn't packaged in anything else and I appreciate that and then I had bok choy and this is organic baby bok choy and it's it says it's one pound uh, this was three dollars so two little baby bok choy I like to put them in soups I would like to make this um, Asian broth kind of like ginger <laughs> based brats okay we have two avocados organic avocados for three dollars that's how they are priced i guess in the stores also so nothing too crazy there and then i wanted to try this primal kitchen organic hawaiian style barbecue sauce so my son likes barbecue sauce a lot and i always try to buy organic ones and we never tried this one and I I guess it was um, a very good price for it. It was $7.99, I think it was on sale. So they also have sales on the website. 
So that's why I went for this one. And then we have the meats. And I like that Imperfect Foods have um, some amazing meats. And we got here Wagyu top, top sirloin steak. And this one was Wagyu beef top sirloin steak, eight ounce, fourteen ninety nine. We like our Wagyu, I guess. So some people were on keto in my family for a while. <laughs> and then I got these two organic beef sirloin steak, and everything, uh, the steaks came frozen. So we got two of the sirloin steaks. I think they were on sale. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing two because it says two count. And I put two orders and I got only um, two instead of four. I'm not sure if I'm correct or not. I emailed them, but yeah, I pay for these two organic grass-fed beef sirloin steak, 18.38. And then we have chicken, and this is pasture-raised heirloom chicken. Cook's Venture pasture-raised heirloom chicken tight bone in on one pound, four seventy-nine. I thought the price was really, really amazing. I think there are about three pieces of the chicken legs inside, chicken tights inside, but I'll have to see because I didn't on freeze it yet and then the last item it's uh, this is actually packed by imperfect foods I noticed so they have their own I guess labels to their own uh, products this is all natural wagyu ground beef patties three count uh, 9.49 so I thought it was a really good price too um, I found this uh, actually, I found ground Wagyu at Wild Fork recently, and it was really, really clo uh, very close in price. So, yeah, it wasn't that bad. I get the price is okay. We try to eat actually as clean, as organic as possible, uh, grass-fed whenever it's a choice, or pasture-raised, I guess, is the ultimate. Um, I guess it will be our first choice um but yeah it's really really hard to find in my area uh sometimes we go shop at whole foods for it sometimes we go to a farm on um, not nearby it's probably i mean it's like 40 minutes away from here uh usually it's not cheap so i thought the price for the meat was okay actually um i really like the option that uh you can shop organic food sustainable um you save waste i guess because it doesn't go into our landfills uh, sometimes they have i noticed irregular sized products so probably things that will go in the landfill uh irregular foods will pack it and sell it so repurpose it and yeah the prices they were the same as I will go to the store and shop for them. Besides that, I noticed they run sales like any other store. Uh, they opened their window to shop on Mondays and I noticed my cart was filled with kind of items, um, com depending on what you answer on the quiz. Um, they kind of fill your cart, but you can remove those if you don't like anything. You can skip a week if you don't want to shop that week, if you have too much food or you shop somewhere else, life happens. Uh, you can add, totally add a lot of variety of products from their website. So it took me a little bit to figure it out how to shop for the foods because they have kind of like a search bar. Overall, in the end, I paid $74.98 uh, for this week's products that I ordered. I think I'm very happy actually with the price and the products that I got. I'm very curious uh, to try these new brands because I didn't try these brands before, uh, especially for the meat. I'm very familiar with Siete and Primal Kitchen. It's uh, two brands that I love and I guess I will purchase from them to get uh, forever. 
uh, I love my greens um, so yeah I guess the meat is gonna be I guess uh, if I'm gonna shop next week again or not so if I'm gonna shop again next uh, week I'm gonna leave a review before sharing the items I'm gonna purchase again uh, so stay tuned for that if you want to try uh, imperfect foods I'm gonna link down below how you can save $20 and yeah hopefully you will share uh, your imperfect foods if you share your imperfect foods let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite uh, items to shop from imperfect foods please suggest me because I'm very very curious what you guys like and what I should try next if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.